Easter is a celebration of Jesus' triumph over death. Do not be afraid, the Gospel of Mark says. He has risen. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Pope Francis says, to go to Galilee means to begin anew. It means to start again from where we began. The message of Easter is, it is always possible to begin anew. Because there is always a new life that God can awaken in us in spite of all our failures. By listening daily to His words, may God's love and guidance be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Paul and Barnabas continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered the synagogue and took their seats. Many Jews and worshippers who were converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to remain faithful to the grace of God. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it, and condemn yourselves as unworthy for eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles, for so the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a lie to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men of the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas, and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Responsorial Psalm we are his people, the sheep of his flock. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Know that the Lord is God. He made us his we are. His people, the flock he tends. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The Lord is good, His kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of a great multitude which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. Then one of the elders said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. 
For this reason, they stand before God's throne and worship Him day and night in His temple. The one who sits on the throne will shelter them. They will not hunger or thirst anymore, nor will the sun or any heat strike them. For the Lamb who is in the center of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to springs of life-giving water, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where, they, where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <music>